Hi everyone and welcome to the Arne and Carlos Advent Calendar for 2023 and we are as always your hosts Arne and Carlos. There we are. We are here in Christmas Central. We are dressed as little Santa's helpers, I guess. Yeah. The little Norwegian elves who come in every day to spread the magic of Christmas yeah. joy or something like that. I haven't found the hats yet. But. No. But you're but dressed as a, a little elf. A very traditional. A very elf. traditional one. And I'm dressed a little bit more fancy. I've got on a skiing sweater that is originally from 1950s, but that we have redesigned into what it looks today. Yes. So we've got the antique. You know, you're the antique and I'm the classic. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no, you're not an antique, I I'm promise a, you. <laughs> you can sell me. <laughs> sell you? If you need money. Why? I'm a good antique. Oh, you no, 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 no. I, I meant like you were the old one. <laughs> Put me in the thrift shop. Yeah. Store. Okay, we've uh, got to start this uh, calendar by doing a little uh, Christmas uh, fun as well. You know, we love lighting candles in this house. We do it all the time. And we'll be lighting this little Advent candle holder every day. Uh, we haven't reached second of Advent yet, so we're still in first of Advent. So here we go. Yeah. Turn that baby on and here we go. Here we go. So Arne, what, what, are, what is something you like doing to get into the Christmas spirit? Right now I have been uh, pulling out all my Christmas vinyl. Oh wow. Well, actually it's ours, some of them. So yeah. The old ones are mine. But we haven't heard much of the, of the Christmas vinyl collection of yours because you got a little early gift this year. I got an early gift. I got uh, Dolly Parton, the rock star. Yeah, and the... I have to say that one is very good. Mm -hmm. I, I just play that over and over and over. Yeah. It's so good. And I like, I could actually put it on Spotify. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I could put it on Spotify, but I prefer the vinyl. vinyl. Yeah, we, you it's, like the uh, crackling and sound. And also when you can, you can see all the pictures yeah. and you smell the vinyl. It's beautiful. Yeah, it may be familiar to you guys because we did show this on um, our latest uh, episode of Sit In It For A Bit, which took place on the last Sunday of November, so not very long ago. That was my Christmas gift. That was year. your Christmas gift to yourself. Yeah. Anyway, so we've been listening a lot to the Dolly Parton uh, record, which yeah. is great because I personally, um, I'm a little bit more rigid when it comes to Christmas music. I mean, Arne could hear it all year round, <laughs> but I would prefer to wait until Christmas. Yeah. But that's not Christmas music. That's rock and roll. No, no, no. That's what I mean. That's why I'm happy <laughs> that we're listening to the oh, Dolly yeah, Parton. Yeah, yeah, because you don't like it if you... I start too early. No, I don't think, uh, <laughs> I don't think I enjoy Christmas music until we start the Advent calendar. So December 1st. Great time to start uh, listening to Christmas music, but I can't take Christmas music in October or November. No, I think it's too that, early. That's a bit too early. Yeah. But now it's time. Anyway, you brought out a, a few jewels from your collection. Yeah, this is, uh, I'm going to show this one. This is the first uh, vinyl <laughs> oh, record I got. Yeah, that's a funny one. And it was my grandmother who bought it because yeah. she liked the accordion and the mm. more like she liked the folk. Mm. song thing yes and this one is um, <laughs> this, it, this one is horrible it it it's well it's you have a, to show it it's a very stressful music yeah. it's called um hey tomte gubber yes and um bosse larsson og brødren and brødren lindqvist and we may have to explain what tomte gubber means Tomte is Santa, so like so, the yeah. the Santa Claus, and Gubba means. I mean, if you call somebody a Gubba, you're calling them an old man. That's what you have on this picture. Mm. They are the Tomte Gubba. So the old men of Christmas. <laughs> okay. This one is very stressful. I I put, I put it on. I played it one mm. time last Christmas. Maybe. I don't know. And this this one. This is the. This is my favorite. I bought this one when it came in... When was that? In... 1970-something. I probably wasn't even born. Oh, you were. <laughs> you were born. <laughs> Just <laughs> kidding. <laughs> 1978. Okay, I was eight years old. Yeah, I was I born. bought it when it, the year it came. Mm. And... Bonnie M. Bonnie M. And Mary's boy child, Oh My Lord. Mm -hmm. The other Very one, nice. Dancing in the Streets, is not, it's a, not Christmas a Christmas song. It's not a Christmas song. But this one is really good. Yep. 
This so, has to be played every Christmas. Yeah. Arne, we have a lot of uh, records here, so we do need to speed yeah. it up. This Otherwise, one? we'll be here all day. I pre this Agneta Felskog from ABBA and her daughter. Oh, yeah. This is a nice, this is a cozy yeah. Christmas record. And the uh, title is Nutendas Tusen Julius, which means now we light 1,000 Christmas candles. So see, Christmas candles is very important in our oh, culture. This is maybe a bit too much. But. Maybe maybe a thousand <laughs> is a little bit too much, but Christmas candles is very important, and hygge candles are very important. Well, we never no go candles, that far. No candles, no hygge. No. no candles, no Christmas. So I mean, we won't go this far, but it is part of our culture. Please take that in consideration, and don't judge us for loving candles. No. <laughs> and then this one, Elvis. The Wonderful World of Christmas. Mm -hmm. This cover is so beautiful and this is kind of inspiration also for Christmas balls. Mm. Can you see the link to the Christmas balls there? Yeah. Beautiful. This one has a lot of nice songs. Okay, here, play this later today. here we have one that is pretty cool and we have a really fun story about this one. So Annie Lennox, uh, A Christmas Cornucopia. This a Christmas cornucopia. So um, Arne and I are both very big fans of Annie Lennox. And unlike Dolly Parton, who we've never met, we have actually had the pleasure of meeting and talking to Annie Lennox. Um, this happened the same year this record came out. I yeah. think it was in 2011 in London. We were there uh, doing a... Well, this came maybe before. Uh, no, I think... No, 2010. This came yeah. in the year before. Two so the year before, in 2011, we were in London supporting an organization called Mothers to Mothers. Um, about uh, HIV prevention, giving it from your child, uh, from you to your child. Um, from mothers to their yeah, kids. Yeah, South African um, HIV uh, organization to, you know, protect people. And then Annie Lennox was performing. Yeah. See, she was performing and we got to talk to her afterwards and she told us about this record. She also gave us a hug each. Yeah. I asked her, Do, don't you have a Christmas record? And she said, yeah. She, she just, yeah, she said, I have a Christmas had... record. And, and, and Arna said, well, we're not very big fans of Spotify. Does it happen to be on vinyl? Yeah. And she said, yes, it's on vinyl. <laughs> so, oh, thank you. So we took a mental note of this. Yeah. Then we I mean, went to Oslo um, yeah. the week after. Yeah, and I went to the record store and I said, I, I want to buy the Annie Lennox vinyl record, the Christmas record. And he, she, he said, no, she doesn't have any Christmas And records. he said it with such conviction. It was like, no, but I said, well, no, I know no, I, she doesn't have one. Yeah. No. And I said, yeah, yeah, I know she has one. And he why, why don't you look in your computer? And he says, and no, there is no, I don't even need to look in the computer. No, there is no. Like, and then I said, well, I talked to her last week and she has a Christmas Because record. she said so. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then, then he went into his computer and then he found it. But then he had to order it. Yeah. And then since he was so, what do you call that, obnoxious? Yeah, he was. I said, um, oh, I can order it from Amazon. Myself. Myself. Yeah. <laughs> and I left. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because I didn't have to. I mean, it was hello. In Oslo and I didn't have time to go back to Oslo to pick up the record. Yeah. So I bought it from Amazon. But and hello. I mean, she house. told us. She told us. Of course, she had a record yeah. we knew. So don't we, tell us that she yeah. didn't have We one. heard it from the source. <laughs> exactly. And we love Annie Lennox. She <laughs> is a fantastic person. She did a concert. Um, and we were raising money for HIV AIDS um, research and this whole Mothers to Mothers uh, thing, this organization, which is very important to us. And um, it was great. It was so fun meeting her and her husband. Yeah. And now she sings every Christmas in this house. Every Christmas in this house. And we still live <laughs> off those uh, three minutes that we had heard all, all to ourselves. Yeah. Uh, such a lovely she person. She was floating through the room. Yeah, she's an angel. She's, she's wonderful. Yes. So, Another and, wonderful though. That's Cindy Lauper. Mm -hmm. This one we found last year. I don't remember. We found it in America, I think in New York. Yeah. Because I've never seen this one before. We have played it only once. It's this pretty is good. More, this is fun. This is a cozy, fun Christmas You know, record. girls just want to have fun, kind of kind fun. Of fun. But, but Christmas. Yeah. And then we have this one. This is also one of my favorites with Connie Francis, yes. Christmas with Connie. This is a little bit more of a old vibe, it's, old old school vibe. It's very old vibe. I think it's very good, good, good. It's so good. Very like, good. As soon as you put this on, yeah, it's kind Christmas of, comes and you calm down. Yeah, it, it, it's just very calming music. It's yeah. very relaxing. Yeah, it, it, this one's a favorite of both of us. Yeah, the, this, this is really good. And then, of course, Dolly Parton, <laughs> Dolly. Course. We have a few of her yes, records. Yes, we do. We have the one with Kenny Rogers, but in, on DVD, mm. no CD. 
It's yeah. called CD. The, the old record. What's it called? CD. Yeah, CD, CD record, CD, yeah. CD, yeah. But but we don't play those anymore, mm -hmm. so we have to find them on vinyl. So we have a few we don't have on vinyl, yeah. but these two. Yeah, this one's duets. It's uh, she's got a duet with Miley Cyrus, one with Michael Bublé, one with Jimmy Fallon. <laughs> yeah, because you know this one. Oh, I think one one of these came first. Oh, uh, and I ordered the second one as well. And oh, it's the same. They have the same songs. No, not really. No, this one, this has, one has more. This one has one extra wine. Yeah, it's a, yeah, it's a double album. This is a single album. Three candles, the wish book. I no, don't think no, 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 those no, no. are not. No, no, only the only the side A and B. Yeah. So A, a and B are the same. Yeah. It's okay. You can never have too much Dolly anyway. Never. Yeah. So this is uh, this is uh, it's. It's out now. Mm. It's time to play yeah. Christmas songs. So these are a few of our Dolly, oh Dolly, <laughs> of our Dolly records, and a few of our Christmas, uh, of our Christmas records. I do have to say, of all of these, this one is dear to my heart because of the fact that yeah. we adore this person. This is a beautiful human being, and this one here is really nice because it's so calming yeah. and so pretty and these are so nice because it's Dolly Parton and, and this one is the one we play the less yeah and and this one we still have to play it a little bit yeah. more and the, this is just so yeah. cozy and it's Elvis yeah it's Elvis what can we say, <laughs> what can we say? <laughs> so yeah this is a, a little bit about our Christmas music uh, we, I'm sure as soon as we get tired of the new Dolly record we're going to start playing these. I don't think we're going to get tired of it because it's so good. It's uh, very good. But uh, so. yeah, probably there will be a little Christmas music. And, I have to put on some yeah. Christmas. And I also like, uh, you know, speaking of, you know, music and things, uh, Handel's Messias is quite nice. And I do... Yeah, you have that on the... Soul yeah, but, the, but that's nicer yeah. to go and, and listen to in church. And I also enjoy the Nutcracker. Yeah. Which we won't be seeing this year, but we went last year. We did. Yeah. yeah so this year we won't go and see anything, do yeah. we? No, we have nothing planned this year. Nothing planned. No. Anyway, as you know, you're here for the you're here for the sock knit along. You're not here to uh, <laughs> talk about Although music. although it is cozy to just sit and relax, isn't it? I mean, take your cup of tea, uh, calm down. You know, there's a lot of things going on in December, so it's nice just to have this time alone with us, isn't it? Yeah, and you can check out the music. You can, yeah. But anyway, we are here for the sock knit along, and uh, it is going pretty well. It is growing. Um, and today we are revealing uh, part number four. Uh, which, uh, ta-da, ta it's still white and red. Coming. And something new is coming. Yeah, and, and the green one from yesterday was only two rounds. Whoops! So that is a cut away. Yeah, cut away and it's gone. The tail uh, is there. So. It's, a, it's a lot of fun doing this, isn't it, Arne? Yeah, it's nice. And I mean, the more the more we knit, the quicker it goes. Although, although yeah, you do the six rounds in 20 minutes, I do them in an hour. Yeah, and now there's a new thing coming. Oh. So this is like the traditional part. Mm. You have the eightly roses hidden in between all the others, but it's a very tradition. And Christmas is all about tradition. Yeah, that's true, yeah. And now there's a new thing coming. A new thing coming, yeah. I, I do believe that if we go on the inside of this, uh, there may be a little bit of a, a twisting to do. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of twisting on this part. Yeah. So but remember to twist. Remember to twist. Uh, twisting is fun. And stagger the twisting. Stagger the twist so that the color doesn't show through. And I through. think we have a lot of videos on that, don't we? We do, yes. Yeah. So all you need to do is go look up those videos. Anyway, this is clue number four or piece number four. Um, and it is available for free as, um, along with pieces number one, two and three. And all you need to do is go to arnecarlos.com slash blog. Log in there um, and uh, download the pattern. It's a PDF file. All you need to do is click click on it. It will download and then you can store it on your computer um, so that you can knit it. Uh, please consider not printing it. Uh, consider the environment, please. And don't print it. Uh, use it directly from your iPad or your iPhone or your tablet device or whatever it is or your computer. Um, and wait until the whole thing is done. The whole chart is done before you print it. That's what we recommend. Anyway, you can download them and save them every day and they won't disappear. You, you have them forever if you save them. But keep in mind that if you lose them um, after December 26th, the pattern will become paid and you'll have to buy it. So just so you know, it's only free until December 26th. So knit it now. Yeah, so knit it now and enjoy. <laughs> yeah. um, and I'm looking forward to tomorrow. I'm guessing, I mean, mm, my logic is telling me that there will probably be more 
white and red and not so much green. But you never well, know. You saw I cut the green. Yeah. That's a sign. That's a good sign. But still, you never know. You could yeah. still be surprised. Because if you saw three hands yesterday, you probably freaked out. You're yeah. thinking, oh, we have to knit with three colors at the same time. No, 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 no. We're doing it nicely. We're being nice to you so far. <laughs> But you never know, our mood might change. And that's the cool thing of doing a mystery sock along or stocking along, is that if we want to change it up, we change it up and you never know what's coming no. because it's a surprise. It's a surprise. Yes. And we have a surprise. Oh, yes. We have the Advent sweater. Mm. And today it's the fourth. And there are two questions or two comments. comments. Yes. So now I think you should. I read yesterday. Oh, okay. I don't remember who read. I I think I did. Uh, okay. Uh, Katrina from How to Knit Stranded Color Work. This was posted seven months ago on that episode. And this one's aimed at you, Arne. It uh -huh. says, you definitely looked and sounded like a television presenter. I loved your intro. I stopped knitting years ago, but you guys have inspired me to take it up again. I am working on the sock I gave up on 12 years ago. Oh, Good cool. for you, Katrina. Cool. I'm finishing the leg and then we'll start on the second sock. Well, this is six months ago, Katrina. So if you're watching this, tell us in the comments if you uh, finished the second one. Yeah. Oh, cool. Thank you. I have to look on that. I don't remember what I said, but I say so many strange things. Yeah. Oh, and so many good things as oh, well. Of course. <laughs> Not really. Okay. Thank you. And now we have uh, from Sackfab, Sandra Looney, 6461. This is seven months ago. The two of you are such a great match. You seem to get along so well. Very kind and appreciative of one each other. Such great role models for anyone in relationship. Thank you. Yeah. That's Thank good you. to know because yep. sometimes people think I'm bullying Carlos. <laughs> Never. <laughs> or sometimes people might think I'm bullying you. Yeah, especially when we do the cooking. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're not doing the cooking anymore, so, no, so that works. So we keep, we keep the bullying. Yeah, we don't kitchen. bully each other. No. We, actually work, we actually work and live together and spend all our time together. And it's been really hard. Uh, 2023 has turned out to be a hard year for both of us in the sense that my mother's ill and um, I've had to uh, leave Arne several times to be with her um, on and my I've own. And I've been alone in the uh, house And that's something, uh, that's something neither of us are used to. No, we're, we're not, not used, used to being alone, we're used to each other's company. And I have to say, the both times when I've been with my dad alone, I mean, it's nice being with my dad and it's nice being with my mom, obviously, but I have missed you a lot. The same, because, and the food, the food I've been eating while <laughs> yeah. you were away, it's like, oh my. Well, well, Arne, I <laughs> Everything know. Everything comes from a plastic bag and I boil it and, oh, it's so bad. I know what kind of food you have been <laughs> eating when I'm away because we've just had a kitchen reno. <laughs> and we had the same food. And we had that same food. It comes but from you a, don't eat the instant noodles that I No, nah, I don't like instant noodles. But, you know, anything that you can dump in some boiling water is what we've had. Because, and knekebre with that cheese yeah. from a tube. Crisp bread. Yeah. So, Arne, we are past our uh, time and so, uh, we still... Thanks for the comment. Thanks for the Thank comment, you yes. Very much. Kind regards. <laughs> very lovely. <laughs> kind regards. We do have a competition that we need to talk about, don't yeah, we? We have. The competition this year is split in two. We have one competition going from the 1st of December to the 12th of December. And then we will launch another competition on the 13th of December. And it goes until the 24th. Of December. So two completely separate competitions. That means that on December 13th, which is La Santa Lucia, we will press stop <laughs> and we will start again. Yeah. And uh, in order to become eligible for the competitions, you need to answer a question. It will be two different questions and you are eligible to win two completely different prices. I can't wait to tell you what the prices are, but we're only going to tell you the prices for the first competition right now. And you have to wait until December 13th to find out the second price. Yeah. And what's the question, Carlos? The question is, uh, for the first 12 days of Christmas is, when was Arne and Carlos founded? We're looking for the year. Which year was Arne and Carlos founded? The answer may possibly be available on our website. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? Or on, you know, somewhere else. And Arne, tell everybody what they're eligible to win. You can win all the yarn you need for one sweater from Hillesvåg Ulvar Fabrik in Norway. That's our Norwegian favorite. Yes, absolutely. You will be able to choose enough yarn to knit yourself a sweater 
any sweater that you want. We're not going to give you the pattern, but we're going to give you the yarn. You can choose all between all the qualities that they have, and you can even choose from their humongous color chart or color card. It's going to be a really beautiful sweater of your choice in the color of your choice. So this is a really nice price. We're talking minimum 10, 100 gram skeins of yarn. That's one kilo of yarn. Now, the answer to the question uh, is something you can write down on the comments below. And uh, in the end of the advent calendar, uh, probably in the new year, we will randomly select a lucky winner from December 1st until December 12th who is eligible to win the prize or who will win the prize. It's only one prize. Yeah. Uh, and then um, starting December 13th, we will do a new competition, a new question and a new prize. And it's completely different to this prize. So stay tuned. You don't want to miss that prize either because no. it's also amazing. So that's it for now. And if you like our videos, put your thumbs up and be a subscriber and put on the notifications if you're a subscriber, because then you won't miss the episode. Yes, and the mailing list is really the best way to stay in touch with us and keep up with our shenanigans. And if you want additional content, uh, please consider becoming a member. You can do so by going to our YouTube channel, looking for the subscribe button, and then clicking on the button next to it, which is the join button. If you become a YouTube member of the Arne and Carlos family, you will receive um, lots of perks and benefits, including uh, live streams where we give you our knitting help, there are monthly shenanigans and cooking episodes. There are weekly 15-minute updates, uh, usually in the beginning of the week. And lots and lots of fun, including emojis and other things that you really don't want to live without. <laughs> so, thank you for watching, and we will see you again tomorrow. Bye! Bye.